Maria will be live from the border in Mission, Texas in just a few moments. But here's a look from her first day encountering a group of migrants coming from Guatemala. We just encountered a group. They've been walking for more than an hour. They're from Guatemala. They have plans. They're going to New Jersey. They're going to North Carolina. Here they are. Joe, this is just a preview of Maria's reporting uh, down in, um, in that part of Texas. Joe, what do you make as we watch these, these migrants? Again, it's not just heading into Texas. It's, these people will be here in the United States across the nation. What do you make of this, Joe? Wow, Dagan, I mean, on the ground investigative reporting. How often are we seeing this on the evening newscasts on ABC, CBS, NBC? How often do you see MSNBC doing reporting like this from the crisis that's a catastrophe at the border? I mean, this is real. And the fact that Maria is finding uh, these sort of families now crossing, not only that, but getting their plans as well. They're coming to my home state of New Jersey or they're going to North Carolina. I think that's what a lot of Americans, because of the lack of reporting, don't quite understand. They just don't stay in Texas. They they will be filtered throughout parts of the country to your town and to mine. And who pays for it? Once again, we talked about who pays for the trillions in spending that we have. Who pays for all of these thousands of people coming across the border and into our education systems? These are fair questions that Americans have. It's not that they're anti-immigrant or anti-anybody from Central America, but they just want people to come through the process legally and so they could be counted fairly. And instead, reporting like this shows that this is absolutely a crisis that no one seems to be in charge of right now, particularly when we consider that Vice President Kamala Harris refuses to visit the border and she cites COVID restrictions, which is a very interesting argument considering that, you know, she's fully vaccinated and has gone to states all around the country. But Texas, for whatever reason, Dagan, not on that list. Well, Lee, they don't, uh, the Vice President Kamala Harris, um, the administration, by they don't want, they're just trying to avoid the optics because you've got children. It's a humanitarian health and economic crisis with children literally laying on top of one another in detention facilities. There's no way that the vice president will directly associate herself with this crisis caused by the Biden administration. Yeah, I mean, it's really, really tragic. And the problem that that um, President Biden and Vice President Harris have right now is that this is a losing issue for them. 87% of Republicans, 73% of independents, 66% of Democrats say this is a crisis that needs to be dealt with right now. Biden and Harris promised unity. They promised they would come together to solve the biggest challenges in front of us. They need to walk this back and find a way to work together with Republicans and deal with this and get something done. If it means they have to roll back the rules that they changed, mm -hmm. they need to do that. But Americans are saying this is a crisis that needs to be dealt with immediately. And if they don't, I think there's going to be consequences for this administration. Uh, that's part of the problem, though, is that they care about the polls, but not about people put in harm's way by drug cartels and human traffickers and the like.